Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a highly myopic eye with almost clear lens. Nuclear sclerosis is in grade 1 or so. The patient is highly myopic and the patient is under topical anesthesia. And I am expecting LIDRS in this case, lens iris diaphragm retropulsion syndrome. The main incision has been made and as I inject visco, see the people dilates so much, we can hardly see the iris. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision. And now, capsulorexis is to be done. At this time, we must remember that the people is dilated much and the rexis has to be of adequate size of about 5.25 millimeter. The power of the intraocular lens in this case is 7 diopter. The patient is a 45 years old lady. Her dissection is done. We can see the fluid wave going to the other side. In this case, the cataract is so soft that it is very difficult to divide with the pre chopper that I have designed. So, I am going to use my friend Dr. Neto Rosatelli's ball tipped chopper in this case. It is a long chopper with a ball tip round bodied. The length of the uh, from the bend it is 2.25 millimeter. So, this is a very long chopper and the idea is to go to the posterior surface of the lens and mechanically divide this nucleus. And this is spinning and now I am going to divide this nucleus. See the beauty of this long chopper. It has divided the nucleus into two heminuclei and immediately I can aspirate the heminucleus. So, this is the beauty of proper instruments in a case in a situation. Every cataract is different. We must customize a technique for that particular cataract, not one technique for all cataracts. We must customize a technique for the cataract at hand. Almost 90 percent of the cortical matter has been removed and now this small speck of cortex at the main wound is being removed by this 23 G Simco. I go through the side port to remove this cortex and remove some cells and now I am going to implant an intraocular lens. I am going to use a B cartridge, so enlarging the main wound to about 3 millimeter. The initially the wound was 2.8, it has been enlarged to about 3 millimeter. And now here it goes the uh, single piece hydrophobic aspheric intraocular lens, a monofocal intraocular lens. And we will see that the intraocular lens will be overlapped all around by the erexis margin. So, if we can train our hand, if we can train our ourselves to do erexis of this size, then a femtosecond laser is not required to do rexis. 
see the rexis, it is overlapping the lens all around. Even for a premium IOL, we can do this kind of manual rexis. Now, the antechamber is nicely formed and then the integrity of the wounds are checked, few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention, hope this video will encourage you to use Dr. Neto Urozatelli's long ball tipped round bodied chopper.